People are getting attacked in their own... Uh... It's the act of defiance that captured the world's attention. A teenager snatched an egg on the senator's head. That is fantastic. Police are still investigating Will Connolly, Fraser Anning and the senator's supporters over the now infamous egging motivated by Anning's divisive response to the Christchurch terror attack. I think uh, Anning's goons were so over the top it was ridiculous. I mean, how many neo-Nazis it take to pick on a 17-year-old boy? I think the full force of the law should be applied to Senator Anning. No, no, he got a slap across the face, which is what his mother should have given him long ago. I know a lot of people think that uh, egging is a prank. I actually think we should really be very clear that no kind of violence is okay in our political discourse. But overwhelmingly, Egg Boy is being hailed a hero. A GoFundMe for the team, raising tens of thousands of dollars. He's a national hero. Hero Boy. The real cause of Fraser Anning getting hit with an egg is Fraser Anning saying things that prompt people to throw eggs at him. He may be the victim today, but usually he's a huge... Awesome. Ben Simmons gave him an NBA-level shout-out. Big-name bands say he can have free concert tickets for life. He's been offered a Turkish holiday, a lifetime of drinks. There are endless memes, Egg Boy t-shirts, and even a remix. <laughs> but as Egg Boy's star skyrocketed since that incident, he's stayed silent. Until now. Bill Connolly, it's been a pretty big week. Welcome to the program. Nice to meet you, Hamish. Uh, yeah, good to be here. The world knows you as Egg Boy. Is that now your official name, or do you want to tell us who you are? Um, I just prefer Will. Yeah. You know, Egg Boy's getting pretty annoying, to be honest. It's been an extraordinary week. What's it been like for you? It's been crazy. You know, I've had a lot of emotions. You know, I've been stressed, happy, you know, just overwhelmed in general. It's the obvious question. Why did you do it? Um, after, a tra after that tragedy in Christchurch, I thought the world should be supporting all those victims with love, giving them love and passion. And the Senator released a statement, which was pretty much a divisive hate speech, blaming um, the victims for the attack. And I was just flat out disgusted. I actually, not many people know this, but I actually went in there to listen to him for an hour, to see if he'd changed my mind as, you know, I'm a pretty forgiving person. And in my mind, you know, I wanted to forgive him. But, um, then he started saying some more things, which I'm not going to quote. You can watch the live stream if you want to hear that, which empowered me to egg him. I know you want to address some of the things that have been said about you. Are you an activist of any kind? I, I, I don't know much about politics at all. You know, I just, I'm not pro any specific religion. I'm just pro humanity, you know. It's and are you a member right. of any political groups or parties or no, organisations? Not at all, no. What did you think would happen when you threw the egg at him? I thought I was just going to... I didn't expect him to react. I, was, I thought I was just going to walk out there. I, I didn't think um, this was going to blow up. In fact, you know, it's blown up completely out of proportion and to the point where it's kind of embarrassing because too much attention is actually brought away from the real victim suffering. We should be focusing on them. But I just didn't think... I was just going to show my mates. It was just meant to be a few laughs. Some mates, yeah. And do you remember what you thought when he started striking you? Um... Not exactly, it all went pretty fast, you know, it was just my instinct reaction which followed. Did it hurt? Not really. And how about when Fraser Running supporters pinned you to the ground? What was going through your mind then? Um, I just wanted to stay calm. I knew not to resist. I knew police were not far. Do you mm. think you deserve to be hit? Um, I understand what I did. It was not the right thing to do and, you know, I can understand why some people would react the way they did. Do you think there's ever a reason for anyone to sort of physically attack a serving politician? Because I suppose that's the question that's come out of this for many people. No, there's no reason for, to physically attack anyone. Um, what did your mum say when you first spoke to her after all of this? She, she's glad I stood up for what I believe in, but she, she definitely disagrees with the way I did it. Are you sorry for what you did? Do you want to apologise? I understand what I did was not the right thing to do. However, this egg has united people and, you know, money has been raised, tens of thousands of dollars has been raised for those victims. There was, as you say, a lot of money raised, I think people wanting to support you. What mm. are you going to do with that money? Uh, it's going to help people affected by the tragedy at Christchurch every cent. 
So you've had offers from the Hilltop Hoods, uh, you've been offered a free holiday in Turkey, you've been offered, I think, a lifetime supply of beer in Canada and Wales. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be quite a schoolies week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you going to take up any of these offers? Um, I haven't really had time to think about all this stuff. I'm not too sure. Now, do you even like eggs? Yeah. <laughs> Well, funnily enough, I was actually called Egg Boy before this happened as I'd, really? yeah, as I'd eat um, boiled eggs at, at lunch and all the girls would be like, get away from me, that reeks. <laughs> so are you, going, are you off the eggs now or are you on to other I'm off products? the eggs now. <laughs> I'm officially off the eggs now. Fascinating that he says he probably did the wrong thing. That's really interesting. We should make it clear in case it's not already, but Will was not paid for that interview.